All right, guys, another great looking Seiko model here. This is the Persage line of watches. This is the SRPG05. Retail price 525 using the caliber uh, movement for our 35. So it's a date only, not a day date. Kind of cleans up the dial a little bit. Uh, also, big thanks to Mimo for sending this over along with three other newer Seiko models. So very cool to see some of these newer Seiko models. And for, you know, the uh, value prop that the $525 range watches that they have now offer, they seem like they're pretty solid contenders. This one has a hard lex crystal instead of a sapphire, but other than that, I mean, it's a really well-built watch. So let's get into it. Case size, 40.8 millimeters. So just under that 41 mil, 47 lug to lug. You can see nice polished. Uh, most of this is polished. There's some brushing up on the top of the flanks, but you can see nice turn downs on the lugs there, drilled lugs. It's only 12.15 millimeter thick, but that's including that boxed hard lex crystal. So it's actually a pretty thin watch. 20 millimeter lug width, this bracelet tapers down to 18. You have a milled center section, and then you kind of have a nice finished stamped clasp here, double pushers, two micro adjust, very simple operation there. But you do have, uh, well, you have half length there. So you'll probably be able to get a good fit. You have solid end links there with a female center there. So you have the articulation for the bracelet to lay flat against the case back. So it's going to be comfortable on many wrist sides. Not a problem there. You have the bezel insert here. It looks to be aluminum. And the bezel is a fixed bezel. This is just a time bezel, you know, so you have your 60. You have your minute marks on there, essentially. Uh, it gives it a more sporty look. So... I know there were some people that wanted the rotating bezel, but we don't always need a fidget spinner on our watches, guys. Sometimes it's just nice to have a good, clean, well-done bezel like this. I think this works for this design, not a problem. So let's take a closer look at the dial on this. You can see nice polished indices there with loom plots on the inner portion there. And all of the loom, I'm trying to decide if that's like a, it's not really like a, it's not white, it's like an off-white. So we'll do a loom shot at the end, but you have nice polished handset there. And then out on the tip of those handsets, you have a little strip of white, both on the minute and on the hour, just to help legibility for its direction. It makes it seem like the hand's a little bit longer and goes all the way out, even though it doesn't really go all the way out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you have a framed date window there, a nicely framed one. Sometimes that can look a little off, and this one definitely looks the part. So no problem there. Beautiful blue dial. There are some other colorways on this one. I think there's like an off-white one. There's like a green one. Um, and then if you move up the scale, I think there's even some like open heart models of these Persage lineup. So I'll put a link to Mimo's website in the description. You can check that out. And you can also use the code... C R O B C Rob, and you will uh, get a nice little discount there. So try that code out. Let me know if it works for you. So you can see you have the anti magnetism logo there. You have the made in Japan Seiko water resist five bar. It's only a 50 meter water resist. It's a push pull crown, not screw down. And you have the gold tone rotor on this 4R35, 23 joules, beating at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and there's a, this is going to look a little muted. There's actually a protective coating uh, sticker on the back side. I'm not going to peel off because this is a brand new watch and it is not mine. I am not going to fiddle with that. So there's a look at the movement. Not decorated or anything like that, but at least you get to see it and see the, all the gears and the spinny bits and the all that good stuff. So there is a quick look at this guy. I don't think I really need to make a super long video. Let's put this on the wrist. It's not, again, it's not sized. It looks to be a split pin construction on the bracelet, but the bracelet's nice. Like I don't, it's very nicely brushed and it's solid feeling. Take a couple links out of this side, maybe a couple links out of the other side, or uh, maybe two out of one and one out of the other. That, that's what it'd be on my seven and a quarter right there. Just very comfortable, very clean, sporty slash dressy watch. Classes it up a little bit. So let's kill the lights and check the loom on this thing. It's still Seiko loom, even if it is a Persage or whatever, it's still going to glow pretty good. Yep, 
glows really good actually. Our Minahan clearly vis visible and those super small loom pits on the inside of those indices are um, easily legible even though they're closer to the center of the dial. I like that they even added one on the inside of the uh, date window there so it's clean uh, loom all the way around, very symmetrical. All right guys, thanks for watching. Big thanks to Mimo for sending this in and I'll see you guys on the next vid.